Uh, and uh, that, of course, has been the traditional therapy. We have our novel oral agents, and uh, as I mentioned, I think those will, will rapidly replace chemotherapy for almost all patients. Uh, but there's still challenges. We don't think the, these drugs are curative. Um, we, at present, use them indefinitely. So I think the future is really looking at combinations of these drugs, uh, not to use more expensive drugs and use more of them, but really to get deeper responses so that we can stop therapy. So why not use a combination if we can get to a point where the CLL is undetectable and then stop therapy uh, and see how long uh, before we need to consider treatment again. As I mentioned, I don't think even that approach is going to be curative, but if you consider uh, an individual starting treatment in their 70s, whether we use a single uh, drug or a combination, I think with these new drugs we'll, we'll be very successful in managing the disease for the rest of a person's natural life. Uh, and so even though we can't talk about curing it at present, uh, we may be able to easily control it um, with well-tolerated therapy and a therapy that perhaps we don't need to give continuously uh, so that um, someone doesn't die from CLL, uh, they die with the disease, but uh, with the disease not impacting really their their day-to-day -day lives. I think for younger patients, it's still a challenge, of course. How do we uh, eliminate the disease? How do we actually cure someone? And I think therapies like CAR T cell therapy where we use our body's own immune cells to target the cancer, really offers potential for cure uh, in hopefully a, a safer way than, than transplant. Uh, transplant is, is really uh, quite difficult, and of course for older patients it's often not an option. So I think in the next few years we're gonna learn a lot more about CAR T cell therapy and CLL, and I hope we get to the point where we understand the potential side effects, uh, understand who's more likely to benefit from the therapy, and then you're in a position to make a rational choice about when to consider that therapy uh, for a younger patient when you're, you're looking to actually uh, eliminate the disease and, and perhaps cure uh, patients. Uh, just uh, as a reminder, that approach has been approved now uh, in the U.S. for children with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, uh, for adults with a type of lymphoma, but the very first patients treated with this approach were patients with CLL. And the very first two patients treated who had uh, very uh, advanced disease and had received uh, many prior therapies uh, are still disease-free more than five years later. So that's what I think gives us hope that uh, this might actually be a, a treatment that can cure CLL.